let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay, so. Oh, we've got ourselves. We've hiked ourselves in. At the moment, it's supposed to be a solid about somewhere between 20, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, we got ourselves hiked in. It's took ourselves a hot minute because I didn't, I wasn't able to get in until a late start. But regardless, we got ourselves here. I'd hope to have been able to, uh, to have packed in some raw meat and then, you know, cooked ourselves a nice, a nice meal that way. But we're going to be relying on an MRE once again. Got taken collect ourselves some uh, some firewood, and then from that point on, we're going to be doing an MRE meal. It is a quite windy, but luckily everything is pretty damp because we was supposed to, we got a lot of snow, but before the snow rolled in, the temperature wasn't quite low enough. So everything here is very 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 wet and damp. Luckily. Everything underneath here is good. The the top part of this left wall right here, uh, a bit of it is blowed in, which is to be expected. But the majority of everything above us is well compacted. Nothing too much has come down. Nothing we got to worry about. Consider we're just going to be using a wool blanket. I've got a a moisture wicking shirt underneath here. Uh, a a like a World War II style 100% wool um, sweater. Then a let's see what do I got? Then a very thin cotton flannel shirt in this wool jacket. The wool jacket's definitely going to go. We got way more than enough overhang. And then by the time we get a fire going, you know, it's not going to be a problem. So. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good comfortable night. So first things first we gotta take and collect some firewood because I do not have any firewood. We have got our we got the fire going, we got most of the things that we need cleared out, cleared out. So what we're gonna do now break into the good old Duluth canvas, wax canvas backpack. We're gonna break out our food situation because I got enough stuff piled on there. We got a little bit of the smoke rolling up in under here, but that's not that big of a deal. If anything, that's gonna get rid of any of the creepy crawlies or spiders or ticks or whatever we got, you know, chilling up in under there before we hunker down underneath here because we've only got our wool blanket, so we gotta we, we definitely gotta get a nice bed of coals rolling under there. I do have to use emergency blanket if we do so need it but I don't think we will then we have our MRE which I, I split open because I just want to see if it had matches in it and it just so happened that this one does not have matches in it so what we got this time I opened it right before we come we have got a menu of chicken chunks white cooked so just white cooked chicken I'm going to take and hold that up. Hopefully you can see a little bit of it. I, you know, like I said, it's dark out here and I'm using the infrared stuff. But uh, We also have this. The only thing that I brought out here in terms of a little bit of ambiance is some Jolo Vineyards Cuvée Selection. I hope that's how you pronounce it. So that's what we're going to be sipping on. I don't even like wine that much, but I thought we'd mix it up since we just got a little bit of chicken. We got an MRE meal. There's no reason not to take and, you know, get a little bit fancy out here. So we'll break out the metal cup for that one. Then I got a corkscrew. So they say it's going to be getting down to about 19. But counting the wind chill and everything, I say it's going to be getting down to about 15 degrees. So with just the clothing I got, especially considering I got, I've got no long johns on on my legs, I'm curious to see how things are going to go. Oh, a very sophisticated corkscrew out with us. And as you screw it, it raises these levers right here on the left and right side. And once you get it back to the point where you can't screw it no more and it pinches your fingers, you're supposed to pull down. It grabs the lips of the bottle. And then you give it the old wiggle and there's the pop. 
take that off. Raise this a little bit. There we go. I still got that nice shiner on the on the right side on my right looking ball. So that's where we're at there. Get a taste of this. This is definitely some red wine. Eh. They said, not a big wine guy personally. This feels like the chicken. Yeah. So this is chicken, the white chunks in that pouch right there. So I know we got to take and get our, uh, our, where'd it go? Is it not it? There, hello? Never had this happen before, but we got an MRE without a flameless ration heater. So I don't know what they expect somebody to do that's in the middle of god dang Afghanistan. What we're going to do is break open our metal bottle thing right here which has a nesting cup doesn't look very good but it smells pretty good so in order to help us take and funnel that into our nesting cup here we're going to grab one of these handy dandy spooning devices that actually looks like some pretty solid high quality chicken meat but then again I don't know what non-high quality chicken meat looks like. Put a little bit of red wine into it. We'll take and mix that in a little bit. Now we can't put, we can't have this spoon in it. Basically we'll put a little bit more red wine. I right, said so we do not have to cook what we got in this thing right here. We don't have to cook this, but we do got to heat it. So the difficult part here is going to be how do we, is, is heating it without cooking it or making it to the point where we cannot pick it up. So I'm going to sit on the edge of that piece of wood. That piece of wood right there has not got any, that's just a charred piece of wood and everything behind it <clears throat> has a little bit of heat to it. <clears throat> so that's what we're working with and everything else that we got is stuff that we can take and eat by itself and that we're going to combine with this very careful not to melt anything in my spoon if you can't see that right there's got a, a lot of heat coming off of it because this is not going to take long to heat up at all hot sauce never tried it but by god the way this chicken tastes even with that re bit of wed right wed wine the wee bit of red wine that we got in there, I'm sure this will take and add a nice little bit of, you know, a little bit of umph to it. I'm going to add all of it because I am somebody, let me tell you, I do I do like my bit of, of spiciness, a bit of hotness to it. So we're going to take and squeeze all of that in there. It looks like ground up barbecue and there's no way I can really show it that good. One thing I do want to do is go ahead and open up some of these tortillas and, you know, that way I can get a bite of them because these MRE tortillas are very, very fresh. Like, they're, I've yet to have any of these that are not fresh. The only problem is as far as that cheese goes, where'd it go? Cheese? I know that historically wine and cheese goes very good together. This orange drink would be something I'd kind of say for in the morning if he's gonna. There it is. If you, you know, I mean, you wanted a nice carbohydrate electrolyte beverage, which would be something that'd be good to say for whenever you're gonna be, you know, humping it over a hill. But by itself, let's get a nice little taste of this here chicken mix with a little bit of red wine and the beef hot sauce. I'll go ahead and tell you, it smells like garbage. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to tell you this, I taste the red wine, which I was very surprised I would, and it's actually got a very decent amount of spice in it, and that's coming from somebody, like, whenever I make chili beans or any kind of food at home, like, I load it up with so much pepper and spice, 
that nobody in my family wants to eat it. So to have something straight out of the packet that I can recognize as far as the spice goes, I respect it. Is we're gonna put this cheese in this chicken, and we're gonna take and we're gonna heat it up a little bit, and then we're gonna see how it tastes. Put it back on the fire in order to melt it a little bit without searing it. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna bring back and taste it. But I really feel like that by the time that happens, and we put it on some of this tor like some of this tortilla, we're gonna to attempt to put what's left of this, since it's all cheesy and beefy flavored, and we're out here in the woods. We're gonna take and you know try to attempt something for the first time. Setting on these Reese's that was in there along with some trail mix but I might wait and save that till the morning so we'll see. But I'm going to put that back in there and I'm going to see if we can if we can get this bunched up between these two tortillas right here. I'm trying to do a bit of a double layered taco action. I have no clue what I'm doing. I, I'm not a I'm not a Mexican food connoisseur or a tortilla connoisseur, so you got to bear with me on this front right here. bright uh, good morning peoples okay well I actually ended up sleeping in for a hot minute and right now with this sunshine and all this we're going to have to take and shed a layer or so because it is a lot warmer this morning than it got to last night but all in all it's a pretty warm night just a just a wee bit on the windy side I'm going to take I'm going to look this direction we're going to have to Swap things out. I'm about to put these on. At least this way, gotta look at my black eye. But now it is breakfast time. My water should not be frozen because I had it tucked in here. Tastes sweet. Plus, we got this bad boy right here, chock full of water. Now, our breakfast options are we got this First Strike Energy Bar, we got the Reese's that we've got. 
or orange drinks. I mean, might as well. This is like a sports drink. We'll call it orange juice. And we got some trail mix recovery. The condiments pack from that for my last trip. I kept that in here. And then we got the condiments bag from this one right here. And in this one, what do we got? We got a beverage base cranberry grape. Okay, I was hoping there'd be some coffee in here. We're gonna take and use this beverage bag right here just for the funsies of it. So we got that sealed up nice and tight. Now we just give it the old shuffle. Bro, that is refreshing. Hey, yeah, that is actually very good. Oh, heck yeah, bro. We got tons of nuts up in this bad boy. I think this might be all nuts. No clue what that is. I think that's a pretzel. Got some walnuts. Not walnuts, but um, almonds. Yeah, them almonds are hard. We got like your regular salted peanut. Mmm. I was really worried there's going to be like some sweet garbage in here but this is straight up this is straight up just nuts I guess these I, I think these are pretzels bro that that trail mix mixture right there is a 10 out of 10 and I feel stupid because I actually there was some instant coffee in here I'm just used to uh, the last like batch of MRE meals I had they was in more of like a tube shape uh, packet like that but this is some uh, coffee instant type 2 spray dried 1.5 ounces add to 1 4 canteen which is 6 ounces now the fire is pretty much kaput and I don't really want to start it up again so I'm gonna just take I'm gonna drink it cold there's only about there's like six ounces or less left in the bottom of this so we're just gonna take and have ourselves a nice cold brew we'll shake her up you know like I said the stronger the better anyways we'll see what it tastes like just black by itself but if not there's also some uh, some dried dairy creamer in this bad boy okay I think I might have more than six ounces of water in there because that's pretty watered down especially compared to how it smells Got a little bit of coffee froth on the old nostrils. So now all we got left is the Cran Raspberry Flavored First Strike Nutrition Energy Bar and these Reese Pieces. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna take these back with me. They got peanuts in them. I like peanuts by themselves, but I'm not a big chocolate peanut fan or peanut butter peanut whatever. You know, screw it. Um, but I'm gonna take in this First Strike Energy Bar. Give me a little bit of give me a little bit of that energy on top of that coffee to hike out here these things I've had four or five of them and they are very interesting so right there is what it looks like which looks very unappealing uh, oh well let me just let me drop it in the dirt first but it's very solid and it's extremely chewy and my like I said my jaw hurts from getting smacked by that stick so oh yeah this is not gonna be a pleasant ah uh, the flavor is good Chewing and eating this thing is literally like lifting weights for your jaw muscles. All right, well that's that. So now we're just gonna take them. I'm gonna shake everything out, pack up, and head out. So until the next one, boys and girls, adios.